What up, YouTube? I'm here with my good friend, Naomi. Hi, hey guys. Okay, so, you guys, based on the response I got from the last video I did with the model and the mag beam and the max, the mag mod, the mag beam kit, basically, you guys wanted me to go more in depth uh, about that kit and about the system. So I decided to make this video just about mag mods in general. So the focus is gonna be on the mag beam because you guys really like that and you like the results that I could create with it. So I'm gonna show you some different ways to create different photos with the mag beam kit and how the mag masks work. But I'm also going to go and basically go through the gauntlet of what I own. So the mag grids, the mag sphere, the mag bounce, uh, and then the gel system. So you can kind of see how everything works together with the magma system, how easy it is to use. I mean, it's kind of like a big ass magma commercial. Now, I don't work for Magmod. I'm not affiliated with them in any kind of way, at least not yet. I mean, if they want to sponsor this channel and kind of send me some stuff and send some uh, money this way, by all means, Magmod, please do that. Basically, when I like a product, I want to sing its praises and I also want to let you guys know about the product so you don't get left out in the dark. Get it? Left in the dark, flash, Magmod. Ah so yeah, anyways, you guys stay tuned. If you have any questions, as always, put them in the comments below. Uh, I will also be posting these photos on my Flickr page so you can see them after the fact. Uh, if you like this video, always share it. Hit that thumbs up already, because she's pretty. So don't even like wait to the end of the video. Just hit the thumbs up now if you think she's cute. Yeah, okay, that way. All right, so guys, stay tuned, and now uh, we're gonna go into the shoot. Okay, just to give you guys an idea of what the settings are, as you are seeing it on the camera right now, this is about how the setting looks to the natural eye. So I tried to close out as much light as I could so we can just get um, get it dark, So, because I'm using speed lights. So I don't want to have to use the speed lights on full power and blow them out. So I'm trying to make this as dark as possible. So right now, what you're looking at, the settings for the video, is 1 60th of a second at F4 at ISO 640. So it's pretty dark for this particular situation. It's not super dark, but it's dark enough to, uh, to make it so like these lights will do their thing. Oh, also, what I'm using for this, the Young Newell 560 version four with the triggers, the Young Newell 603 triggers. And model right there. Okay, and then so I will show you the first setup and then we'll get started. Okay, so in my opinion, the reason that you would use the wide, the wide uh, lens on the mag beam is one, if you want a wide spread of light, like you just saw, and then two, for this thing, the mag mask. You put it in here and you spray it out and it creates like a creative beam of light. So. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Okay, folks, so as you can see, the results of having the mag beam or the mag, sorry, a mag pattern in the mag beam at the widest setting, I'm at 24 millimeters in the flash, 1 8 power. I have it pointing directly at the model. So the thing about the mag pattern is how you position the light depends on the beam because if you have it angled to the side if you get a wide shot it's going to look funny so if you want like a wide shot you want to have the it pointed kind of directly like in this situation you're going to be here you're going to be shooting focus you're going to be like standing like right here and you're going to be shooting and you want to shoot directly if you have it off to the side like this make sure you zoomed in and up close because then it creates like a weird angle of the light so Best practice, directly at your subject for like a super wide picture or like this, but then zoomed in, zoomed in on your mouth. So yeah. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add a second light and spice things up with two lights. And I'm going to use the mag beam as kind of a background lighting situation and then I'm going to add what I'm gonna do is probably use a grid so I can have the light come directly on the model. 
and not spill anywhere. I'm gonna show you guys how the grids work. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, YouTube. This is part of the shoot where I make all my models strip. All right, so you gotta pay for extra footage. So I'm gonna black this out. If you want to see the rest of this, make sure you subscribe and put down which, which you, how much should we charge them? Five hundred dollars to see this exclusive uncut shoot. All right. Okay, folks, so the last test is going to see if the magma really does what it says it's supposed to say, do. Uh, the website claims that it gives you, I think, like a stop or two or three uh, more light so you can put the light further away. So if you shoot like birds, like if you're a bird shooter or if you're doing like a couple and you want to put the flash a little bit further away from the couple but you still want the light to reach them, but you don't have a lot of power, this thing is supposed to help give you more reach and more power, supposedly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it to the test. So I'm gonna basically put the light back here at the beginning Okay, so first test is the bulb, the bare bulb, at, again, 24 millimeters, 1 8 power. Our model is about 24 feet away. I counted it with my feet. I'm a size 13, so it was 23 steps, but of course it's at least 24. We're at least 24 feet from here to here. That's the whole point. So let's see what a bare flash does how much light reaches her, and then I'm gonna put on the mag beam and see what a difference that makes, okay? Stay tuned. Okay, folks, first test, I have the light bare bulb. I'm at 200th of a second, F5. The light is at 1 8 power, 24 millimeters, ISO 160. So this is the first test shot, nothing but the light. Okay, boom. So that's what we work with. Now, let's add this bad boy on. I changed nothing. Now let's see how much light we get. Okay, a little bit more light. So it, it, it went up just a little bit. Now, let's zoom it out and see what happens. So we went out the first notch. Now what's gonna happen is the beam is gonna be a little bit more narrow, but it should be brighter. So let's see. Yup, it's a bit brighter. Although the beam is narrower, it works. Now I'm gonna zoom it out even further. Even more narrow beam, but it should be even brighter. Hopefully I get it on the first shot. Okay, almost. As you can see, it's a bit narrow, but just a little bit with that. Perfect. Okay, so again, we're about 24 feet from here to there. As you can see, 
at the further setting is a very narrow beam of light, but it is a bit brighter. I changed nothing on the flash. I didn't touch the flash. You can see, you can even see the pictures right here. So I didn't change, I didn't change anything, just so you guys know. Now, we're gonna put it back to the flat setting. Okay, so now I put it back to the flat setting, but now what I'm gonna do is zoom the actual flash. So, I'm gonna take the flash, still at 1 8 power, I'm gonna zoom the flash to 80, because the tether lens should actually help beam the, the light to make it brighter or whatever. So, I'm gonna keep the tether lens, but at the wide flat setting, or at the flat setting, now I'm gonna see the difference in light. So once again, I'm gonna take this off, we're gonna do our test shot with nothing on. Boom, okay, put this bad boy on. Now see how much light we get. One, two. Much brighter. Or at least a little bit brighter. Hold that again. Two. Yeah, as you can see, this thing works like a charm. I hope you guys learned something and were pretty much entertained. I don't know if this video was very entertaining, but at least you learned something, right? Yeah, this thing works. Like my... I want to give a lovely shout out to my model, Naomi, who put up with all my stuff and was a patient model while I went through all my lighting scenarios. What'd you think? Were you happy with the shoot? Yeah, it's really cool. And I'm excited to see exactly how everything turned out. I don't think they even heard you. You're so quiet. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to talk louder, okay? I, okay. Yeah. You know what? Don't say anything. You, you're good. You're finished. Okay. High five. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect.